irresponsibly breed millions of dogs in horrific conditions just to make a buck. It is time to stand up for man's best friend and make sure that each and every animal gets the warm, loving home it deserves. Jo of dogs that are in pet stores come from puppy mill. It's about money and it's about greed. It, they could care less where these dogs came from as long as they're making money. That is all they care about. Never getting exercise or a human touch. If you've ever stopped and smiled at the dogs in a pet store window, you've probably been tempted to take one home. But did you realize the dollars you'd spend on one of those cute little puppies would support a really ugly industry? You see, almost all the puppies for sale at your local mall were churned out by breeding facilities called puppy mills. There are thousands of these mills across the United States, supplying stores with half a million puppies a year. It's all about quantity and profit, with little, if any, care given to the individual animals. In fact, the conditions common to most mills are so inhumane, the dogs are left in various states of physical and mental anguish. Just how cruel is the pet shop business? See for yourself. I'm gonna work this job. Make the sweat drip out of every pore. And I'm bleeding, and I'm bleeding, and I'm bleeding right before the Lord. All the words are gonna bleed from me, and I will think no more. In the sky. One reason and one reason only, and that is to produce puppies. They've been standing in this feces for, for weeks, months, perhaps years. Filth, squalor, medical conditions which are not being treated. The dome on the head, she's hydrocephalic, she's also gray, probably got a heart murmur. These animals are living like this every day of the year. When you put
bought at branches of Russo's Pet Store, where salespeople said the dogs were from California and even provided documentation. But the owners later discovered they were smuggled from Mexico. But the owners later discovered they were smuggled from Mexico. When you go to Fashion Island, you don't expect to be buying a $5 dog off of the back of a truck that's just come in from Mexico. are too young. You know, they have underlying diseases and illnesses that you can't really detect, you know, in, in a five-minute inspection on a puppy. You get 
get your water bowls full. I don't care if you have not scrubbed or not. Long drugs, out of sight, platforms on puppies. And the minute she leaves, we pull them up.
feel the need to lie because the truth is horrific. And they know that if we found out that these dogs came from these abused uh, living conditions, that we would stop buying these puppies. There are a lot of real good people supporting this, and they don't even know it. Because they're buying these puppies, and they're buying these puppies, and they're buying these puppies. And they have no idea what they're supporting. They don't know where their money's going, but it's going to this. And this is a great day for these dogs. But, you know, we've got thousands of these in this country, so... It's a good day for these dogs. Please, help me stop puppy mills. species are wiped out every year because of the actions of one and we are now facing the sixth mass extinction in cosmological history. If any other organism did this a biologist would call them a virus. And I discovered that when we suffer we suffer as equals and in their capacity to suffer a dog is a pig is a bear is a boy. Try to make this kind and clear Just a chance that maybe we'll find better days Cause I don't need boxes wrapped in strings And design a love and empty things Just a chance that maybe we'll find better days with breed-specific rescue groups yes. and a good percentage of shelter dogs, as Carol mentioned, are purebreds. Are purebred dogs. Why is it that still so many people don't get it? Smart people, people with big incomes and fancy jobs still go into stores and buy dogs. Uh, you know, it just, it blows my mind. It's, it's just out of ignorance. And also, I think that our government and our... Uh, various agencies actually support them. I mean, with the uh, the USDA, what they do, they give them the, the stamp of approval. So um, if you go into almost every pet stop, uh, or I'm sorry, pet store, uh, that's the first thing that they tell you, that our, uh, our facilities uh, where we raise our puppies are USDA inspected. Well, the USDA 
does a horrible job enforcing the laws. And, and the Animal Welfare Act is just, uh, a friend of mine calls them survival standards. I mean, they're, they're, they're ridiculous. Six inches, if your viewers put their hand up, if, if they put their hands up six inches from their faces, that's how much a golden retriever, that's how much space a golden retriever has for 10 years in these places. It's six inches. It's the body length of the dog plus six inches. And, and they're, just, they're just bred over and over yes. again. Yes. They're, they're um, inseminated, for lack of a better word, over and over again. And they become pregnant and they have these dogs and immediately impregnated over again. Until, until the day they die, they never leave those cages. No civilized society should ever allow dogs to be raised in these kinds of conditions. This absolutely has to stop.